Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Pisces. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general forecast for January the 3rd to the 9th, the beginning, brand new beginning of 2022. So, this is a general reading, my beautiful fish, my mermaids and mermen, and not every single card or the energy that they carry will resonate with every single Pisces on the planet, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the deep blue sweet sea to those that it does resonate with. Okay, let's see what we have. Pisces, I've gone back to basics. I'm using my original uh, card spread here, which was seven cards when I started out here years ago, and it was my own spread. It's, it, it, it does represent, and it is indicative of the days of the week, Monday to Sunday, and I will be clarifying those messages as well. You still have your three main energy cards and your all over uh, theme and energy card to start us off. So let's see what we have here for my beautiful, beautiful Pisces spirit. What do they need to see? What do they need to know? What do they need to expect? Possible past, present, future energy from Monday to Friday this week of January the 3rd. All right, let's see what we have here for Monday spirit for my beautiful Pisces, please. What do they need to see, know, expect on Monday of this week? Let's see what we have here. Thank you. One card for my Pisces, please. One card for my Pisces. Thank you. Well, I'm going to take that. Ooh, I like it. Ace of Pentacles. Tuesday, please. Card for Tuesday, please, for my Pisces. Tuesday, please. Thank you. Oh, <clears throat> Five of Pentacles. Wednesday. <clears throat> Ten of Wands. That is Friday. Or Thursday, rather. So, Friday. Saturday. And this was underneath, so we're going to take it Sunday. All right, let's see what we have here. Well, right off the bat here, your all over energy card that you do have, Pisces, is not the right time. Okay, so if you're planning on doing something very different, uh, you're wanting to start something new, um, you're wanting to end something, whatever the case is, this isn't the time to do that. So just stay neutral right now. Stay in the middle. Stay in balance. Stay focused on just living in the moment right now. So if you've been wanting to have something come in, you've been waiting for something to come in, your heart was set on something, know that the divine intervention has stepped forward and said, you know what, this isn't the right time for you to do it. Timing is very, very important when we do anything in life. And the universe and divine are stepping forward at this time to say, this isn't Meant to happen okay right now so just accept it don't get bent out of shape don't worry about it don't obsess about it and don't try to overanalyze it just realize that things will fall in place as they should okay now coming in with your first energy card you've got give without expectation so you know you might be stepping up to help someone else this week you might be uh, inspiring somebody else you might be wanting to support somebody else here and you're going to do it out of the kindness of your heart you're going to do it without expecting them to pay you back anything i think you know you're stepping up here to truly truly help somebody out and i think you're going to be able to do that today and you know it brings you joy it brings you satisfaction when you do this it's beautiful energy when we can we can reach out for others this is all about the law of attraction here basically you know when you help others you help yourself as well so you know um, do unto others as you expect them to do unto you and when you give selflessly from your heart you increase the energies of abundance and gratitude throughout your sphere of influence around your world right now so the best rewards reaped are from acts that you didn't even realize you had sown. So uh, giving of yourself this week, I think it's going to be very important to help others and not expecting them to give you repayment for it. So again, remember that, okay? When you help others, you help yourself as well. What you give, you will get back. Now, coming in with your next card, you have the Nightingale Spirit. And this is saying that love is all around you. My beautiful Pisces, what a great way to start your week off, eh? To have that, to know that you've got support, to know that... It, 
the you know the universe has your back divine and spirit have your back i mean i love this uh the nightingale you know <clears throat> is a beautiful beautiful card that tells you to get ready to expect that you have support you know this kind of reminds me of the moon card because the nightingale you hear the nightingale at night right that's why they're called that they sing at night in the dark and uh, you know it, this is to remind you that the sun's going to shine again and you're going to soon feel the love and notice the abundance that surrounds you coming in again so don't be afraid to uh to step back and receive love uh and expect love is coming in okay you're going to receive some great great uh attention here you're going to be getting recognized for who you are the beauty of who you are and and you know what know that you deserve this okay so there's going to be some support coming in here okay but love and prosperity exists everywhere and you're going to find that it's going to come into you this week so this is beautiful okay coming in on monday look what you have you have the ace of pentacles pisces beautiful card that says prosperity good luck abundance is coming your way uh this is the beginning of it i mean we always talk about aces as the beginning right the beginning of energy coming in towards you in all suits but this particular one often speaks of money speaks of abundance in the financial part of your life and i love it so get ready get ready my beautiful beautiful pisces to see significant abundance coming in okay you could be getting a promotion at your place of work you could be getting a salary increase uh it could even be a windfall something unexpected that you didn't you've been waiting for but maybe you didn't know when it was going to arrive okay so definitely definitely you're going to find prosperity coming in on monday starting your week on a really good foot so maybe you're going to be getting more clients maybe you're going to be uh you know getting more reaction in a positive way maybe that sale that deal is going to come in but it's beautiful some of you could be also contemplating to improve your resume by taking a course uh, of study to earn a degree that will actually enhance and build up your income this is a card of excellent luck and it's also the card of improving health if you've been feeling under the weather my beautiful pisces if you haven't been yourself you've been off balance here off kilter here um you know a bit of a wobble you're going to feel better i like it now coming in on tuesday yeah this is you pisces i mean i'm surprised it's not the moon you know getting up in your head worrying feeling as though you're left out in the dark you're on your own you're orphaned you're having to deal with those burdens by yourself and maybe you're feeling lack and loss either in a situation or in money i wouldn't worry about that because monday is showing you that you have the resources here to improve this situation don't be afraid to go and seek out help mentors guides you know don't be afraid to ask for help go to the resources where you feel the lack and loss is you know is that you can get the help from if it's financial go to your bank go to your financial institution check on your taxes go speak to your bookkeeper whatever the case is you will get that assistance and the answers you need so that you don't have to sit here and internalize and deal with things on your own pisces so don't be afraid to ask for help here because it's right there there's the key there's the door and it's and universe is saying get up and go for it because you're going to be able to resolve this worry in no time at all when you ask for help whatever the situation has to do with pisces go and ask for help don't don't carry it on your own but i don't think you're going to have to worry about money this week because this reading is showing me that you know uh money is going to be coming in you're going to have that stability now on wednesday you've got the ten of wands and that means you know maybe you were taking on more work than you can handle you pushed yourself very hard and uh you've you've completed something here you know but now it's the end of that burden it's the end of that pushing so hard you you've reached the summit you're coming down the other side now much easier don't be the burst to be be of burden for other people Pisces you have this very beautiful loving and healing heart and you have this aura around you of wanting to spread this beautiful light to everybody but it can be overwhelming and there will be people that will be like parasites like you know energy vampires and they're going to burden you with their problems which can be too much you tend to take on so I think you're going to be realizing that you're going to walk away from doing that anymore you're going in a new direction you you're the travel here now on this part of your journey this coming you know week is going to start easing up and I do believe that you know you're going to be this whole year Pisces is you you've been working towards this goal and I do believe that 2022 is going to be your year to really shine your light and glow out there so let go of the burdens moving forward you got everything done but if you're continuing to overload yourself here and work allocate some of the jobs to other people 
I mean, I just seen a deck, a, a desk stacked with work that you had to do, or people that are constantly nattering at you to, you know, to take on their burdens. Misery loves company, Pisces, and we have this kind of heart that we just absorb. We're this, we're the sea sponge. We absorb it all because we want to be happy. We want to help everybody. We want to give without expectation, and that's great. But we have to learn to set up boundaries. Okay, don't overdo. Don't over obsess. Don't don't take on the burdens of everybody else. Now, on Friday, or pardon me, Thursday, you've got the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, again, is, uh, it represents worrying, endlessly worrying, uh, thinking about things that, you know, you're, you're, you're conjuring up in your mind, things aren't going to work out in your favor. So, you know, definitely you need to just get your rest. You need to leave your troubles on the, <clears throat> you need to leave your troubles on the chair, okay, at night before you go to bed. Don't allow yourself to get up in your head and start worrying about things because you really need to be running on all engines here okay think positive here okay um and pay attention to your sleep uh pattern get your rate get your rest okay don't allow yourself to go to bed and have those racing thoughts in your mind try to clear your mind before you go to bed okay i don't know whether you have to turn off your technology don't sleep with your phone beside you uh you know turn your phones off uh, do some meditative uh work uh you know to oneness before you go to sleep don't expect the worst okay because you're bringing on worry uh, that can lead to can lead to physical ailment ailments as well okay okay coming in now on friday friday you have the two of wands getting together with someone else collectively working together partnering up uh not working alone um <clears throat> this is what this is all about okay um coming into your own but you know i think you're taking the steps to improve your career with what you're doing pisces and you're going to see that happen um you're on the right track so keep forging forward don't give up keep moving forward even if there's some temporary delays right now okay don't allow that to get up in your head don't allow yourself to worry that you're you know things aren't going to work out keep going for it all right um i do think there could be you could be partnering up with somebody as well pisces you could be dealing with someone who's going to be advantageous uh, that's going to be able to have the same goals as you do. And as a team, you guys can work together. I think you're going the distance now to improve your place of employment, improve your business. Um, you may be traveling. You may be tra planning a trip to go for business or planning a trip for pleasure. But you're definitely going the distance here. This is about joint endeavors and being able to achieve the same goals. You might be dealing with some negotiations. Know that they're going to go smoothly. They're going to work out. Now, there could be contracts and business agreements right now, too, that could bring you great potential. Read between the lines, okay, because you are progressing, albeit it might be a little bit slower than you want, Pisces, but it is controlled and moving forward in a positive direction. Now, love the king of pentacles on saturday okay so you know what he's the midas touch isn't he he can't make a mistake he goes for what he wants he does it confidently because he knows everything's going to fall in line he's done his preparation he's done his work so now he can go forward in a positive direction the midas touch okay you could be dealing with people in power it could be uh your employer uh you know you, you're going to find financial security here so if you are stepping up to to do a closed door uh discussion or a board meeting discussion with your with your place of employment you're going to find that you're going to be okay financially this is all about good and outstanding business skills and working good with money okay um you could be in touch with somebody who does that all right so it's a successful time for you okay any any projects you're working on right now pisces are going to go well uh again you could be promoted or offered a higher salary but your talents and skills are going to bring you the rewards that you need and that's all because of consistency keeping going keeping moving forward not backing up not going forward in a forward direction uh you know definitely definitely knowing that you have love and support around you that's helping you do this and i think it's divine energy that's pushing you forward here and protecting you in that circle of light beautiful beautiful card uh, know that you can accept any opportunities that are coming down your path right now with confidence because they're going to succeed pisces i love it now on sunday you might be faced with some decisions choices you might feel overwhelmed you might feel conflicted uh you know this is kind of like the eeny meeny miny mo but you need to be very aware and very conscientious of what it is you truly want to choose from okay so when the seven of when this card shows up when the seven of fire shows up here or the seven of cups you know stand your ground okay um i i would definitely stand your ground and start thinking about what it is you truly want what is it that's going to bring you long-term value 
okay? Don't go for the quick fix. Ever go for the quick fix. Because at the end of the day, that can peter off fast, right? Go <clears throat> take the safe route, okay? Um, try to focus on what it is you truly want and what is going to bring you to your greater good. There could be a lot of options coming down your, and they could be confusing you. And, you know, maybe your imagination is running crazy too. But I want you just Pisces here to think about what's going to bring you long term. What is it you're working towards here? What do you need to be consistent about? What is going to bring you long-term benefits? And that is taking your time, take, making a decision here. When you do take your time, you will pick the right one. Okay? Wow. Okay, let's see what we have here for clarification for Pisces, please, Spirit. What do they need to see, know, expect, past, present, possible, future energy, Monday to Friday, Monday to Sunday, rather. All right, Monday to Sunday. Let's see what we have here. All right, coming in with the Ace of Pentacles, what do you need to know? You need to know that, you, you know, that you've got the King of Swords. The King of Swords is standing up for yourself, getting some uh, professional advice. If there's been a legal situation you've been dealing with, know that you're going to end up coming out of here with everything that you wanted. The negotiating, the mediation, everything you've been working on is going to pay off. You could be getting advice from somebody like a lawyer, somebody in government, somebody in military, somebody in high authority that has the wisdom to guide and mentor and uh, perhaps defend you for something here wonderful card stand in your truth don't back down five of pentacles you've got the seven of swords so be careful um you may feel as though somebody has deceived you here because often when we think of the seven of swords we talk about um you know deception here Keep your eyes open that someone isn't ghosting you and isn't taking you advantage of you right now. Um, also, protect yourself by doing what's right for you. Get the help that you need here so that you don't have to look over your shoulder with hindsight and say, damn, why did I do that? Why didn't I do this? So, you know, basically be careful. But I want you to keep things close to your chest. The things that are important to you, don't discuss with just anybody and everybody. Pisces, I want you to be working on your own goals here uh, and know that you've got the support here. Uh, you know, that you really truly do need, do uh, deserve from those that do support you. They're going to be there for you. So Pisces, um, you know, be careful. Uh, if you're dealing with anybody around you that you could be, that could be stealing and, and sneaking around behind your back, keep things under lock and key and uh, from prying hands uh, and, and, you know, and, uh, and prying hand, eyes. Okay. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, you've got the Page of Rods. So definitely opportunity coming into you you've learned from the past here you're not taking on the burdens of other people and you know it's opening doors of being able to move freely here towards your goals so you know the page of wands again pages bring us messages right and this particular message is about progression this is about moving forward this is about you know um, an opportunity that's going to come in and it might excite you now you're going in a new direction here and it's a much easier uh, road to traverse here now in this part of your journey um, you're ready you're ready to go for for it. This is good news when it comes in and believing in yourself, staying positive here, Pisces. You could be hearing from somebody that wants to uh, get you involved in something that's going to help you uh, in maybe in a, in a group, an organization. Maybe it has to do with your job and your career, but definitely moving forward. So I do think it could be an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarian energy coming in with a nine of swords. You've got the five of wands. So, you know, you definitely are worried. Uh, there might have been some competition. You may feel that you're pushing yourself really hard having to compete to prove to defend to promote yourself uh, to convey what it is you know pick your battles wisely Pisces don't get up in your head and worry because things might not be working as quickly as you want them to unfold because Pisces we know you're impatient we know that you want everything done yesterday <laughs> But it isn't in the real world. Okay, two of wands. You've got that beautiful ten of pentacles, Pisces. Next to the king of pentacles. Working hard, going the distance collectively with someone else, uh, collaboratively. <clears throat> teamwork partnership yes it's going to bring you the happiness here two people here uh joined together in partnership for success and you're going to get it this is harmony and happiness in relationships in your home life in your circle and also stability and uh in your finances having enough beautiful and on our beautiful king of pentacles what have you got 
Ace of Wands. Opportunities coming in, beginnings. Don't be afraid to go out there and reach for something new here, Pisces. If you've been given an opportunity to go and do something, to you know, this is beautiful. It's opportunities that show up and often it has to do with your career. So you're definitely moving forward. You're starting something new. Maybe some of you are going to start your own business uh, or maybe you're going to get offers coming in uh, to uh, collaborate in partnership with someone else who has the same goals and the same type of business that can promote you and help you to move forward but it's a brand new start and I need you to go forward Pisces with confidence here you can't make a mistake when it lands on the king of pentacles now our seven of cups and making our mind up this is the hangman and the hangman is, t is talking about taking your time feeling like you're in limbo confused about do I do this do I do that Pisces you're often wanting to try new things but you're indecisive you wait till the last minute to make up your mind a lot of you I know I'm guilty of that um, and but we get excited about things and you know you might be taking on a lot of things here that you're trying to make your mind up and a decision to make and it's taking time okay that's okay Pisces that's all right this is saying that you need to take your time okay this this particular time here is temporary things are going to move forward it might not be the right time for you to do this right now but you can still be planning it okay you can still be planning it because I do believe when you do step off out of this slow mode you're going to be hitting the ground running and getting your success here it's showing up you're going to have it well let's see what our final outcome card here is my beautiful Pisces surrender to your intuition T tune into your inner voice be aware of any gut feelings flashes knowings or aha moments uh, that come through to guide you so kind of like the ace of swords right seeing the truth in a situation trusting your instincts uh, if something doesn't feel right don't go there if something feels wonderful and you're, you've, you've done your work the king of pentacles says you need to step up with confidence and go for what you want so tune into that inner voice Pisces you're so intuitive you're so uh, empathic you're so uh, psychic you have that ability to know things so don't be afraid I mean you're always giving to other people here you're always sharing your gifts with other people, but you need to tap into your needs as well. And I think you, you're going to find that. So trust your gut feelings and your intuition. If you feel that something's going to be successful, you know, manifest it, manifest it. And you can have it, have it, have it come in. I'm excited. I'm stuttering. I'm so excited for you, Pisces. Wow, this is a great reading. So, you know, there's going to be wonderful opportunities here. You mean, you have, you not only have the Ace of Pentacles, but you have the Ace of Wands. So, definitely opportunities coming in that could have to do with your business and your work. I know, Pisces, you know, first comes... First comes money, then comes love to you because you always have been lucky and gifted with love. Love just finds you. And with you, it's important that you have stability in your finances and success, Pisces. And it doesn't matter what age you are, you still have that ability to go for your goals confidently and stand and walk in that in that on that path of the law of, of attraction. And you'll get it. For others, you know, you might be thinking of doing something right away uh, that's totally different or something that you want to go for and it's not going to be the right time. Okay, the universe says it's coming. You know, you're in this hangman mode here and, and the universe is saying, just take your time, plan your moves and do it with confidence and you're going to see happiness and fruition come in. And it might require partnership, working with someone else, collaborating ideas with other people with the same goal. Teamwork. Well, my beautiful Pisces, this is your reading for today and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always know that I continue to send you many blessings and much love. And let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.